Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, and I'm going to totally admit right now, I'm a little bit fashionably late to this party, that's for sure. But, I'm very excited to be checking out Boss Fight Studios' Bucky O'Hare action figures. This is Wave 1, the space adventures of Bucky O'Hare. Bucky O'Hare himself, yellows and reds and greens. Remember that cartoon? It was awesome. I'm still humming it in my head. You also have first mate Jenny right here. She's the other figure in the first wave. And on the back of the card, you get to see all the upcoming figures. Now, these did come out uh, quite a few years ago now, but they have done quite a few. And I'll tell you right now, you're probably looking at the rest of the collection, right? But we'll do it in waves, so it'll be nice and fun. I love the artwork on here, card art. Artwork just in general, Neil Adams and Michael Golden doing the layout. You can read up on the bio. They actually put a bio on the card. It's awesome. So you can read up on all the characters right here, which I just absolutely love that they put that in there. Now, one thing that's actually really cool, with most Boss Fight Studios products, you can open the figure, not damage the plastic or the card. It simply just slips right out and you can reassemble the plastic strip right there and it'll be nice and golden. So this is going to be a blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at Boss Fight Studios Bucky, I said Bucky, Captain Bucky O'Hare, action figure line, wave one. And while I got all you Bucky O'Hares here, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old Toys, New Toys, daily news updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So we'll kick it off with the first mate, Jenny. And she looks pretty darn cool. She's got a lot going on, and she has quite a few accessories, which I, I always like to see, right? A lot of face portraits to swap out. Now she does come with two swap out energy effect hands. That's actually pretty cool. It's kind of have a, a Kirby crackle effect. Really nice burst of energy on both. You got a couple extra hands. Each ones are a little bit different. You got a weapon holding hand, you got a fisted hand, and then you have some more of those power energy hands as well. Speaking of power energies, yeah, you get two nice effects that will clip onto her wrists. Really well done. Go very easy with them. You don't want to accidentally snap off the tips. They look to be very brittle, just FYI. And then, why you have some inner swappable, not quite head portraits, but face portraits. And I like that they do that. That's actually a pretty sly deal right there. Each one's a little bit different. You got a more poised kind of expression. You got the winking face, which... That's actually my favorite. That's pretty darn cool. I like the way that they did that. And of course, you have the Jenny action figure. And she is pretty well done. I gotta give it to him. I gotta say, as late to the party I am with these things, they're really cool in hand. It was not what I was expecting, seeing the photos for all this time, right? She's got big, huge hair, big, huge tail to her. Nice little sprays of blue within the white. The tail will definitely help her stand. You're going to need her to do that. She's very back heavy, very top heavy. But the silver, the purple, there are very few hiccups here and there. For the most part, the paint is well done. She has some pretty solid articulation as well for being a smaller type figure. The legs, the arms, nothing double jointed. It's all single jointed, but it works and it works well. There's nothing loose. There's nothing to the degree of like, oh man, that's just, that's just falling over. Or, uh, the paint is ripping or scratching. No, it looks good. The head, you're not going to get much movement. The tail is actually on a ball joint. Like I said, it definitely helps her in standing because her feet are kind of tiny with those space platforms or whatever she's got but getting her into a pose and utilizing the tail is actually pretty well done it's a well-designed figure especially with the tail thought out to help you in that sense now with the face portraits right here these simply just come off just like that they're a little bit snug when you first get the figure but once you kind of figure out how to pop them off in general they go pretty easy so no problems there i will say that if you wanted to instead of pushing it all the way in each of them line up nicely but maybe you come to the idea that yeah, you know if you're out of a display and you want to swap them out real easy don't push them all the way in again they're not hard to get off once you get them on but it's just something to think about. But when you get the energy effects and you get her going, yeah, she definitely looks cool. She poses well, the winking face, the energy, 
everything works on this figure. Everything looks good. I would say, if anything, there's a couple paint mishaps here and there, especially in the joints where they didn't paint the inside of the joint, which is not really a problem, and it doesn't scratch any paint, so that's also a good thing. However, you give her one of uh, Bucky O'Hare's gun, get her a nice pose, and she is definitely a very cool-looking first mate Jenny. I gotta give it to him all day. Now, let's talk about the green rabbit that goes where no ordinary rabbit would dare. I'm talking about Bucky, Captain Bucky O'Hare. I have had the theme song stuck in my head for days now from doing this video. My God. But that's a great looking Bucky O'Hare action figure. He comes with some twin pistols right here. It has really nice silver paint. There's no brush, there's dry brush, nothing else. It's just a simple blaster gun. And I definitely dig that. As with the extra, we'll say gloved hands. He's got a lot of different expressions you can achieve. Outstretched hand. He's got the weapon holding hands for both hands. And he has the finger pointing one, which is my favorite. He has a couple extra face plate portraits that one has the mouth open, one has the mouth closed, right? They're very well painted. The eyes are very comic booky. Well done. You can see the differences here. One mouth open, one mouth closed. But on this one, the changes are very subtle. And I first looked at it, I'm like, did I get the same one? If you look around the lips, the eyes, they're a little bit different, but I would prefer them to be much more different. I'll just say that. They're a little bit too close, unless they're going more for the new Bucky O'Hare, whereas they're going for the older Bucky O'Hare. Who knows? But this figure is pretty darn cool. Again, I'll say I didn't know what to expect before getting this, but it exceeded my expectations. It's very well done. It's a tight, very concise, cool looking action figure. He has a removable cape. It simply just plugs into the back. Nice paint for the star pattern right there. Now, I will tell you this. I do wish it could have fixed a little bit differently, right? Once you do push it in and you get it snug in there, it doesn't take much. It kind of drifts off out, right? It exposes the tail. It stays in there nicely. So there's no problem with it consistently popping out or anything like that. I just wish it is fixed a little bit better because sometimes it will pop out when you're trying to pose them and such. Now, in terms of the head portrait, the face portrait, the ears, the goggles, everything is there. And again, Maybe some misaligned paint here and there, but nothing to really write home about. You do get some nice articulation in the head. The ears are articulated as well, which is really cool. I love that they did that. Nice rotation out of the head. Now, with the face portrait, same thing as Jenny. You simply just pop them off, pick the one that you want, and as fix it, easy peasy. And I actually really like that. I wish more companies would do that. I know that Jazzwares were doing it a little bit with some of their Fortnite stuff, but uh, it's really well done. And same exact articulation. He's got those big shoulder pads, but it really doesn't hinder you at all. He's got single jointed articulated legs and arms. He's got a little bit of a waist swivel to him. And right here, whether or not you're supposed to do this, I'm going to do it anyways. He's got a little bit of weapon storage with his belt buckle, right? I'm pretty sure that this is what it's meant for. But if it's not, you can do it regardless. It's simply just put the pistols on his belt. Nice rotation in the legs, single jointed knees, and he's got some nice Big ol' buddy clod hopper feet to him with some toe articulation as well. And just to point out, the yellow all over the figure is nicely painted. A lot of times when you get action figures that have yellow, it, it sort of gets light in the yellow. You see the things underneath. It's well done in every sense. Posing this guy is great. It's fun. It's totally that Saturday morning cartoon. Captain Bucky O'Hare come back to life. It's awesome. I'm very happy with the way that this guy came out, especially with the pointer finger, right? Leading the charge, the space program, all that kind of stuff. It, it just looks great. He's just, he's ready to rock and roll, and those face portraits say that, especially with First Mate Jenny right here. Man, oh man, do they scale nicely. Now, if you're interested in the original Bucky O'Hare figures and how they look together, well, look no further. There you go. Yeah, they actually do scale around the same size, but you can see the distinct differences between the two. One of them being more Saturday morning cartoon, the other one being a little bit more comic book, a little bit more spot on to the source material. You got the same sort of cape, right? Nice little star pattern. Everything's just a little bit different. But if you look at some of my other Bucky O'Hare figures matched up with these new ones, they all round out to be around the same size. This is something that I immediately thought of when I saw First Mate Jenny, right? Star Fox. <laughs> 
kind of sort of crystal. You know what I'm talking about. Dinosaur adventures, all that kind of stuff. But yes, Bucky O'Hare, in every sense of the word, just totally reminds me of Star Fox. And if you were wondering in terms of scale comparisons between NECA or Super 7 with Turtles, you know, all those anthropomorphic animals from the 90s, how they love to do that. Star Wars, of course, thrown into the mix is very Star Wars heavy with everything that goes on in Bucky O'Hare and just a few more 90s properties to boot. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the first wave of Boss Fight Studios Bucky O'Hare action figures and thank you to everyone at Boss Fight Studios for sending these over to give you guys this fresh look. I'm very much impressed with the line. This is a lot of fun and look forward to my looks at more of the waves of Bucky O'Hare. Whether or not they continue the line later down the road, we got some great action figures to check out regardless. So you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Bucky O'Hare. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, Bucky. I said Captain Bucky O'Hare. Well, he goes where no ordinary rabbit would dare. And I hope that that song gets as stuck in your head as it did mine. <laughs> and when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.